Yo, what's going on with y'all? Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make guitar samples in the style of Gunna, Lil Key, Got It, shit, even J. Cole. I know y'all heard that J. Cole album. All I'm gonna say, it had me like- You know that new J. Cole just dropped, right? Duh, nigga. Anyway, we can find ways to stop world. No, I'm just saying, how'd stop. you like it? What, you mean how'd I love it, nigga? What are you talking about? It's a classic. What? A classic? How's it a classic? It just came out. <laughs> what? Yeah, this nigga's stupid. What are you talking about? Did you hit J. Cole? Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter, especially Twitter. I'm gonna be choosing a handful of y'all to give all my loop kits that I created for free. 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 So yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna be doing a little raffle type of thing. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so first I'm gonna just show y'all the whole beat up to the hook. That way y'all could get an understanding of the loop. So yeah, that's the beat. And it just replays with like a little bit of variations, but for the guitar chords, uh, it's nothing really too complex. It's just really putting in triplets. So really what you wanna do is, you know, have your chords like this and then just put them out. Now, the only reason why it's like this is cause this is a inversion. So it's usually, it should be like this, but I like it like this. Uh, the only changes I did was for these last two, it's just a suspended chord along with this one. This is just the same thing as this. It's just drop uh, five notes. Uh, this is the same thing as this, except this is just dropped five uh, semitones. Uh, next for the top melody. Top melody was real simple. Um, I like to just have another layer of contact just to add for the top melody because uh, it's like the key switches, it kind of messes with the notes and how it sounds. So this is what the top melody sounds like. And then with the, with the guitar notes, uh, and so with the guitar chords, it sounds like this. So for the mix, all I added was a fat filter just to cut out some of the lows, a little bit of the highs and just drop down a little bit of the mids, but not too much. That should be like that. Next, then I added the RC20. Really, it was just for the noise and a little bit of the, the wobble just to make it sound a little vintage. Next, I added ambience just to make it uh, bigger. Uh, this plugin's free if y'all want it. Uh, all I did was just mess with the size and then the, the wet and the dry. Next was just some Valhalla Vintage Verb. Real simple, just kind of tweaked with the mix and then the decay a little bit. And then finally it was, I just put a imager on it just so I could have it more open. That's what it sounds like with effects and then this is what it sounds like without it. You know, it don't sound too bad, but I like to have that little vintage feel. Uh, next was this little flute that I added from Contact. By the way, this, the guitar comes from, yeah, this, and it's just right here in this Contact bank right here. And then you go boom, and then make sure you get this one. Don't get the strum one. All right, so next, uh, next is just a flute that I added.
So yeah, nothing too crazy, just little flutes here and there. That's what it sounds like. And then for the flute, all I added was a little bit of decay. Just uh, all I added was a little bit of an EQ. Just to drop down these little mids right here, because it was like kind of piercing. A little pan man, just to make it go from left to right. A little bit of delay, not nothing too crazy. I even adjusted the knob right here. Reverb, just for the wet knob. And then some Valhalla vintage verb. All right, so for the drums, drums is nothing too crazy, just your typical gun a little keyed style. I'm gonna start off with the rim. So this is the rim. I had a reverse open head. Uh, a regular open head. A crash. And the hi-hats, the hi-hats was nothing really too crazy, just, uh... The hi-hats was nothing too crazy, just, they just go like this. And if you want to be able to do stuff like this, all you really gotta do is just go here, to the one six step. Or sorry. one four step. And then what you really want to just do is brush, make sure you're, you're on that brush, and then make sure you click this. Just so you get the smallest note and then wherever you feel like you want to add rolls just uh finally finally is the 808 808 just goes like this yeah and if you don't know how to pen your 808s you want to go to the note pen right here press control go to note pen and then just go a little bit up and down don't go too crazy like this because it just sounds kind of trash You just want to have a little bit. And then right here, all this is just a uh, one big 808 roll, but just the velocities turned down going straight up. So yeah, nothing too crazy. You don't really want to go too crazy with the instruments. You don't want to have like 14 different sounds. You know what I'm saying? You just want to keep it real bouncy. But yeah, with that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all broke that like goal from last video. So let's try to get 25 likes on the first day. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Join the Discord. Make sure you turn on that, that notification bell so y'all never miss the upload. And like I said, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be doing a raffle so a lot of y'all can get my loop kits for free. I'm going to have my Twitter first link in the description. And with that being said, I'm out.